In Afghanistan, the Taliban has increased its control on Lakshar Gah, the capital of Helmand province. According to Helmand's provincial government, the Taliban has surrounded the city. The siege was imposed after several weeks of intense fighting in neighboring areas, which killed 600 people and displaced another 30,000. Let's get more on the story. Speak to our correspondent Jennifer Glass, who is following things closely in Kabul. Jennifer, the Taliban seem to be gaining ground in Helmand province. Could the capital, Lashgar, Gar, actually fall? Well, Millie, and that's certainly the concern. We've spoken to people down there, elders and journalists. And while the Taliban have been on the outskirts of Lashkar Gah for some time, they certainly have made a push. Certainly in the last week or so, they've taken Nawa district just outside of the capital. And probably most disturbingly for the people in the provincial capital down south, the Taliban control many of the roads. Right now, there's a big battle going on between Afghan security forces and the Taliban for control of the main road between Lashkar Gah and Kandahar. That is a, a main supply road, but other roads have also been taken by the Taliban. We understand they've also blown up some bridges. They have some help. U.S. Uh, forces have carried out at least 25 airstrikes in the last two weeks. They continue to train, advise, and assist. There are several hundred U.S. forces down there uh, at a base in Helmand province helping the 215 Corps in charge of Helmand province, the Afghan Army Corps in charge of Helmand province, being retrained, trying to help them with their leadership. We also understand they have what uh, the United States calls combat enablers. Now, that could be anything from people who help target those airstrikes to actual combat troops on the ground. NATO says it's confident the Afghan security forces will be able to hold Lashkar Gah, but the fact that the Taliban are so close to the city, has many people concerned. We know that uh, uh, about 30,000 people from the surrounding areas have evacuated into the city, and people in the city are trying to figure out a way out. With the, with the ground routes held by the Taliban, really the only way out at this point seems to be by air. And the Lashkar Gah does have an airport, but many Afghans won't be able to afford that option. Jennifer, why is the Taliban focusing so hard on this particular area? Well, Helmand is, the south is the Taliban's heartland, and Helmand, of course, is really a major opium poppy growing region, and that's where the Taliban gets much of its income. It's been a bumper crop this year. The Taliban now control or contest, we believe, 11 of the 14 districts in Helmand province. So the fighting down there has long been very fierce. Even when there were 150,000 NATO troops in the country, the fighting for Helmand was very, very. Uh, Pointed uh, many Americans and British forces down there lost their lives fighting over areas that the Taliban now control again. Uh, and it really is. Helmand province is a very desert-like area, but the Helmand River provides irrigation for those poppy crops, and it's a major uh, opium smuggling route as well. So that's why the Taliban is concentrated down there. We've seen really two years of heavy fighting, but now the Taliban, the closest they've been to Lashkar Gah, and that has many people here concerned. Okay, Jennifer, many thanks for that. Jennifer Glass there in Kabul.